as every hour or so about what's going on. We just put uh, divers in the water and, and their sole purpose of putting the, the divers in the water at this time is so that they can begin to uh, video around uh, the, the scene that we have there in the water. So uh, it's not a whole lot to really update you guys on. Just want to keep you guys informed about what was happening. Uh, the divers are starting the process of mapping the scene. Uh, once they've done a pretty good job of giving us an idea of what the uh, scene looks like down there in the water, uh, give us a good diagram so again, so that we can preserve whatever evidence that we may recover uh, as we continue this operation. Uh, again, I can't tell you how long it's going to take. Uh, it, it's a methodical process, but as, as we work through it, uh, I'll continue to try to come up here and give you an update uh, about what, what's going on in the process. We're talking about the, the, I guess, the circumference or the, the span of the investigation scene that you're looking at. Uh, is it roughly a quarter of a mile, less than that? What does it look like? I, I can't tell you that because I'm, I'm not a diver. I'm not in the water. I can't tell you how far that will span out. Uh, uh, again, as the, the divers relay the information back up to the investigators uh, after they come out of the water we'll have a better idea of, of what that happens to be and that's why again I just kind of want to give you an idea of where we were in the process letting you know that the divers are in the water uh, when I do the next briefing I may be able to tell you a little bit more about what the, you know to, to answer your question a little bit more specific at that time roughly how many divers uh, right now we have two divers in the water but but again uh, we have a number of divers on scene so that we can change them out and make sure that uh, they're, all, they're, they're, they're safe in doing their job. And so, uh, we, again, we'll be down there. We'll be in the area probably for most of the, the morning part. Uh, when we do get to a point where we do vehicle recovery, our primary th thing that we'll do is we'll recover the vehicle and we will actually uh, take the vehicles from this location to uh, a storage area so that we can continue to process the scene. So we won't be on this site all day. Uh, but we will be here long enough to make a recovery, and once we make the recovery, we will relocate to an area that's more secure uh, and more sterile for us to be able to conduct our investigation. Talk about the expertise it takes for the divers to be able to relay the message of what they're seeing underwater so they can tell you guys the best way, I guess, to retrieve that vehicle. Is that what they're kind of doing right now? Uh, well, again, I mean, I can't speak specifically to the, the expertise of the diver. I mean, you know, I, 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 I'm not a diver, but I will tell you that there's a, a lot of skill that goes in their ability to, to be able to go underwater and, and see a scene uh, with the technology that we have available to us with GoPro cameras and stuff like that. They're able to relay that information back up to the investigators who will in turn uh, talk about how they want to proceed with the investigation. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. All right. Again, the chief for chief, uh, giving us Thank you. All right, for all of you that are uh, with us here on Facebook Live, uh, that was Police Chief Lawrence Batiste. Uh, we are in Sarah Land along Bayou Sarah. You can see a lot of police behind me. This is at the uh, public boat launch um, off of Reuben Avenue. And so what they're doing is, if you missed it yesterday afternoon, uh, divers were conducting a training operation and they stumbled across a car under the water. When they took a closer look, they realized that it was the car that belonged to missing Mobile mother, Daniela Vian. Um, so what they're doing now is Mobile Police Chief saying that this is their crime scene essentially is completely underwater. Human remains also found inside um, of that car and wall. Authorities will have to send that off for forensic testing to make sure that it is her, uh, Police Chief Lawrence Petit saying that they have every reason to believe uh, that it is Daniela Vianne uh, who is in that car. So um, they haven't moved the car from underneath the water because that is where their crime scene is right now. So divers are going down, trying to take as much photo evidence as they can before they pull that car out of the water. Uh, so again, that's the, the latest update that they have here. Uh, you know, it is a very sad situation that that's not the uh, outcome that anyone uh, wanted to see. Or if you remember, Daniela uh, was last seen in July of last year. Um, so an unfortunate uh, update to this case. The investigator is going to be out here for the next few hours to try to process that scene. 
um, and really collect as much evidence as they can. So we'll try to give you updates as frequently as we can, both here on Facebook. Um, we're going to be live on WKR. G and also on uh, WKRG.com. So just stick with us throughout for updates throughout the day.